Good afternoon. Today I am just checking in with everyone. There's nothing special going on. Well, actually, I'm doing one new thing. Um, so I just wanted to show you, um, just do my daily check-in, really. Um, and I was, I've been, um, I need to make some ephemera because I do want to try and get ahead, get on with some of those orders that I have. And so, um, don't know where to put things. I'm in a bit of a mess here. Oh, that's what's annoying me. Just a minute. Okay. So, um, um, yeah, I want to get ahead on some of my orders and I'm just struggling a little bit um, making things. So I wanted to show you what I did this morning. And then my brother started messaging me. So I, then I didn't get any more done. But what I... I just, just keep it away there we go. Okay, I hope you can see. So um, because I got my other two... Um, drawers um someone asked me what is the measurement inside i don't know i didn't measure them um let me look at them that you probably take off um maybe a centimeter centimeter and a half for the you know the the um, thickness of the the plastic drawers um in either direction and then you probably get more or less your measurement if you i mean amazon has the external measurements so just take off a bit maybe half an inch in for us measurements and then you might get the an idea of the interior of each drawer anyway we're getting sidetracked so anyway I've, I've freed up these little wooden boxes that i used at the markets and um i was thinking of gail and gail has she actually has a very big box of ephemera that she um she keeps and so I was thinking i could organize myself a bit better so i was keeping them in one of those plastic um, little plastic ones but I thought maybe um, these are just all printed out things um, or some stamperia actually those yeah those are stamperia and so what I've done is I just folded some um, cream paper that I don't use as much um, I couldn't find my cream cardstock and I just wrote fabric tucks so you can see I've only got three I need to make some more um, journaling cards so these are all the journaling cards that I've got made ready to go tags as you can see and I've also put like stamperia ones that I cut out that's a tall one but I put it down like that just so I can see so I've only got four tags and then I've got tags with windows I've only got two of those um, and then folders with pockets well there's a few it's a bit miscellaneous but what I mean by that are these sorts of things so um and that i did in my three and 30 and that's a page that i showed what to do with the cluster with the ticket um and then that was that was something else that i showed so that's that box um i just felt like it might might mean more to me to have it sort of organized like that and i'm just finding a spot to put it because as i said i'm in a bit of a mess today um i started off tidy oh no and it just tipped over well there you go okay some things never change so these are a few miscellaneous things i probably need to um so these well i don't know what to call these things like writing spots maybe journaling spots i might call them i might call them journaling spots and they can be sort of miscellaneous and that look that's one as well um so i need to create some more of those and then there's a few miscellaneous things and then these were those scrappy things that i made i had a few left um and then i've got envelopes here um rick oh i wrote pokers pockets i meant to say rectangular pockets with a tuck so i mean i just made this one this is this is a a preview of steffi's beautiful new kit that he's made um so that's got a pocket and i made a tag to go with it and then there's a little one um and then rectangle pockets so i've been making a whole lot of pockets um here so these are all new that i just made this morning but I'm, i've been struggling a little bit here's another one um so I thought if I turn the camera on, so I made all, I did do a bit today before lunch. Um, and then they're old ones that I made. And then I think I did that one in a video and there's those as well. So they're pockets and then tuck pockets. Oh, tuck pockets. I mean with the tuck in here, because they're the ones that I glue down onto the page. Sometimes I turn them into a um, journaling card, but normally I like to glue them down into the page and I've got, I need to make a lot of those. And then these are my, I called these um, corner diagonal tucks and pockets. So that's those. Um, and I'll probably put in the ones, um, the hinged ones as well in there. Um, and then I've got bags. So like, you know, these little coin bag things here, straw paper bags, 
those sorts of things. And then I'm also going to include these bags that have a flip and writing paper in them. And then long tucks and belly bands. So I put the belly bands on this side here and then the one, oh, that's a belly band. That's a, it's printed out. I put all the printed one, out ones in there and that's the one with the side tuck. That's what I mean about those. So that's how I've organized myself. And I think, I think I'll feel happier with everything organized like that, except that one ticked over. So hopefully um, I can sort that out afterwards. Oh, there's my needle. Okay. And so, and then the other thing that I did because um, I did the book where I ripped out all the pages and I did a lot of gluing. I ended up with a, sorry, I've got a bit of a mess here because I had stuff on my garbage bin and I couldn't put the rubbish in the garbage bin. So I had to put it there. Um, so then I had ended up with a lot of glue pages. I've started to get more now, but I ended up with a lot of these. So um, I decided I needed to, I'll put those ones over there. Um, prepare them like we normally do so I've got them in order here and so I had all those pockets there and I've just done those and then I've got to do these ones and then I've got to do these ones with the pockets I don't have any of those um, I could have actually I might add one in and do hinged pockets or something like that now what is oh that's see that's one of those it doesn't have its um, hinge on it yet and then I've done the tri um, di triangle ones as well and then some more of these and then these are going to be a new sort of thing that I'm going to do, those ones. And then these are the stitch down ones. So that's how I've organised myself. Um, and I've been struggling to sort of decorate them. Now with this one, the uh, you could stitch it down there and make it a pocket and a, with a pocket with a pocket or a side pocket with a side pocket. But I thought I might make it, like I'll make this stronger. This is quite strong paper. But I'll make it stronger, like by collaging on it. And then it will be a, a side tuck with a flip out like that. That's what that's going to be. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I think I might put some coffee dyed paper on there. But I need, I want one piece that will go right across. Try coffee dyed. It's tea dyed, actually. I did tea dyeing. I didn't do coffee dyeing. So I'm going to put that right across. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And I'll just get rid of that. I need to empty out my garbage bin. It's overflowing. Someone asked me, do I like my new glue? I don't mind the new glue, the, the Pritt glue. The only thing is I find, like with my um, Giotto glue, if I leave it open, it doesn't sort of go hard. To, like it, if I leave it all night, it does. But if I, while I'm working, it doesn't go hard. This one, if I leave the lid off, sort of starts to go hard and then it all smushes off because I have to press really hard so I wasn't a fan of that I am my my favorite is the Giotto there's not there's no two I can't I can't um I don't yeah Giotto is my favorite so um it remains my favorite but anyway I'm not going to complain that'll do you know these are tough times you have to make do with what you've got so I am struggling with the decorating today See, not every. I see. I struggle too. That's what I want to say. Everybody struggles. Of course, my my pocket is not straight. It's not hard. It's definitely not straight. I am going to stitch around it, so I'm not too concerned. And then we'll just um, cut this off. Someone's listening to something very loudly in my house. Oh, it's Lulu. Because you know my new phone picks up sound everywhere. Okay, so trim that off. So that's going to be the inside. Okay, don't really want to fold it yet because it'll get bubbles, but I kind of do need to fold it because I need to see how am I going to decorate it. 
So that's going to be the inside. That's not too bad. It's all right. So because I want to see it like that. Now what? And this is now this is where I'm going to start um, flapping about and not know what I want to do. I was hoping that maybe turning the camera on would help me in my decision process. See that? What am I going to do with that? I'll chuck that over there and put those over there. Okay, so I do have a few papers here, and they're all scripted. Oh, got that nice paper. Let's forget about that. I really do like this. Um, I think I've got another one somewhere because I've been very lucky. I've been sent it. Oh, I think I like that. Okay. I'm going to do my regular measuring. Where's my ruler? Oops. The reason why I flip it over, I can see my two lines there, and I try to, in some way, line it up a little bit there. And my sister gave me a wallpaper too. I need to get that. It's just in my um, scrapbooking paper draw now I might oh isn't that pretty oh I really do like that that's nice very nice if I do say so myself you see you guys help me oh it's upside down you guys help me that's what you do I was going to use I am going to stitch around it so I think this will be fine if I just use the, the glue stick but because it's a uh, you know a stronger paper I would not if I weren't going to stitch around it I'd probably use my PVA glue just to be sure that it sticks okay so that's like that oh, I do like that mm, I quite like that but I might I might like a little bit I'm just hanging on to this piece of paper I might make that into a little file folder thing. That's a piece of scrapbooking paper I've got flying around. I think I might like a piece of this. Okay. So I need to put lots of glue down here. Hopefully, I don't know if prick glue Glue's fabric. I'm not sure. Part of it will be stitched as well. And then I'm going to put that there. Yep. Put that there. See, thank you guys. Where's my... Oh, I put my glue. I'm a clever girl. Put my glue here upside down. I'll glue this down with the PVA just to make sure everything sticks properly. I'm just thinking that is going to it's going to flip up isn't it so the other option is you could put a little tie around it or you could just put a um, like a decorated got one here somewhere a decorated paper clip mm, I probably won't be able to find it now because there's a bit of stuff where it was of course I can't find it no don't know where it is okay well don't worry I can like I could put a paper clip there and that would keep it shut so I think I'll put that aside for stitching I like that I don't think I need to do any more to that I mean you could add if you had a flower ready you could add a botanical or something but I don't I really don't feel like it needs it. Hmm, don't mind that. It's a bit clashy, but I like it. I think I'll leave it. Or could go there, you see. Anyway, I'll leave that. That's ready for stitching. So that's what I wanted to do with those. And I thought 
Um, let me just grab a page. So this is the front of the signature. I wouldn't put it here because I don't feel like it matches. But I would stitch it around there and there. And then that's a tuck. And that flips out. That was the idea behind that one. But that was a bit of fun. And you can do other things with that too. We might do that at some point. So I'll put that over there. And now I've got to do one of these. A million and one pages. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd just sit down and get on with these and get them done so that way I can make the journals and and um, and just sort of power through them. So I'm just trying to find here some paper. What is that paper? So I like this. I thought that would be nice on a tag though. I might put that one on there. That's nice on a tag. I'll just glue that there right now so I don't you know me, like I say, oh, I'm going to do this with that, and then I forget, and I do something else with it. Okay. I'll just chuck that over there. That one's not ready to do yet. And I wanted to work with this, and I'm just trying to see here, if I over here in my mess, if I've got a paper. That I might like to use. There are all my new ones. Nope. Okay. I might use some of that script there. Just looking for papers that I've already sort of started ripping up. So I think that's a good idea. This one, this one, um, this is half of one of the journaling. I like to, I might tear that one down and make that into a big journaling card and add something to it. I like doing that with that one. And that's too big. See, I'm very indecisive today. Very, it's it's not a good, it's not good today. That's one of my collage pages. I haven't used those for a while. Okay, so I think I'm thinking I might like this piece. So I hope everybody is well. We're in crazy times. It's crazy for everybody. Um, we're all going through the same thing at the same time. So I do hope that everybody is well and safe and family members, of course. And um, and um, what did I want to say? I wanted to say I hope that you're getting lots of craft done because that's about all we can do really, isn't it? It's craft away. Craft, craft, craft. Have a bit of fun. Just to take your mind off it. Um, that's a bit too much. Don't you love the measuring? Right. Very wonky. wonky. Oh, isn't that pretty? I like that. See, it's interesting when you tear things down. Um, how, oh, I had some other things I printed out that I would like to use. Um, maybe I'll pause the video and go and get them and, and then come back just finish this one off I had some Kathy Jones who made me that beautiful journal um, she has some lovely um, hanky digitals in her shop I have a few digitals that I uh, that were actually um, well that I went and check of course checked out Kathy's shop when I received that beautiful journal and then the other um, person um, Gail Gail the enabler um, well I'm an enabler as well I know um, Oh, I can't remember the name of the shop, but I've written it down on the printables. And they might be perfect for what I'm doing. Um, so I wanted to share that. I know Gail shared the shop, and that's where I went there. Um, but I thought I would share it as well, because there's some fun little digital things to use 
for embellishments and stuff. And I wanted to give them a go. I thought my sister might like them too. See, I like, oh, isn't that pretty? I do like that. It's just the colours. It's just I like the colours more, really. That's what it is. Okay, so we'll... You can see I've got my woolly jumper on. As you know, probably know by now, yesterday it snowed. And um, and today it's been raining all day. So I think it's about... Um, it was going to be about 3 to 7 degrees today. And tomorrow as well. So I've got my woolies out. Oh, I like that. Okay, good. Don't like that. I think I'm going to put that right there. See, see, guys, you help me. You don't even know it. You help me. I get myself going. Oh, dear, I've got a blob of glue. Okay, I'm going to pause my video and go and get those printables because I did want to share those. I nearly put it in the wrong spot. You see what happens? I need to get that glue off there too. And see, this is ready. This doesn't even, this has already been stitched. That, if it hadn't, have, oh no, it can go on that one. So I'll let that dry a minute, but that can go already go in the box and it makes me feel enormously satisfied um, knowing that I can just put it in the box and it's ready to go. So that could be pretty there. Why don't we do that? Because it's exact right width. I was going to put you on pause. I'll do that in a minute. So that's going to go there. Now, I'm not stitching around this, so good idea to put some PVA because um, this is kind of like a cardstock, wallpapery cardstock. And that's the right way. Make sure we're putting it the right way. And then I'm thinking, this is not particularly, I mean, it's 60s. It's not that old, the paper, compared to some of the other stuff that we have. Um, and I'm just thinking, I might, I might like to just, to, just to put a little bit of, um, you know, 1800s paper on there, rather than have the new sort of paper. I think I'll do, I'll take that bit off there. And take, yes, I see, I like that more. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the feel of the paper, the type, I don't know. It, I just like it more than the newer sort of stuff. And put that there. Right, okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't put my phone on airplane mode either. Okay, I'll be turning you off in a second because I need to put you on airplane mode. Okay, and I'm wondering, I don't think I probably don't have one that I, we made these stickers. Hmm. I don't like those colours up there. I think I'm going to do that for a change, but I might put a little bit of this under it. I'll just glue that down, poking out, um, just to add a little bit of texture. And first I'll put it on with this. And what I'll do, even though that's on sticky paper because it's a sticker, I'm going to put a little bit of um, PVA glue behind it just so I'll take the, the backing off. It's quite sticky, but I'll, I'll um, take the backing off if I can, if I can find where the backing is. That's just my iPad just lit up. It's just Pinterest. It's very sticky. 
It is actually very sticky. I think that might stick. Anyway, we'll try it. If it doesn't stick, I can always stick glue under it afterwards. It looks like it's going to stick. There we go. I like that. So that's that one. I probably shouldn't. I won't put them away because then we'll have a look at. We like to have a look at the end. What I did. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to put you on pause and then go. I'll come back. Okay, so I'm back. I think I got everything that I need. So that I'll put that one on the side. It might need um, some glue under it, but we'll see what happens. Um, move these aside. And I wanted to show you these. Not those. Not those. Easter. We're done with Easter. Um, here they are. So these are from Kathy, Ka um, Crafty Kathy Design. So I thought they're lovely. Maybe have a play with those. This one. So they're vintage or antique. I think they're vintage hankies. I thought they're very pretty. Um, gorgeous, just the borders there. And then this is um, Sh Sherry or Cherry the Crafter. And um, so Gail got me onto those. I really like these embroideries. I thought they're lovely. So they could be fun to play with. Oh, and then, um, so there's another embroidery, that one. And then there's these backgrounds. So these backgrounds are good to have a have a play with as well. Oh, it didn't, it went off the page, that one. It doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, so a couple of new digis to play with. Needed those like a hole in the head, didn't I? Right. And they can mix in with these. So look how pretty that is with that. Mm -mm. Okay. And then, um, oh, I won't show you those. Steffi's playing with another thing too, but I'm a bit, um, I'm umming and ahhing about it still. That's my problem. So I'll just put those ones, I'll put them on the sewing machine because otherwise they could be lost. Put those there. Right. So let's... See, no, that's not going to be any good. I'll put that over there. I think I'll put that piece maybe there. Might as well use up the paper. That could go, I mean, it could also be, no, I think I'll keep that for the back of a tag or something. Um, and we might use what? Might use another piece of this. And I'm thinking I might use it um, in collaboration with um, Cherry or Cherie or Cherry, um, the cut embroidery cutouts. I'll just tear that right down. That can be used for something else. Put that over there. Okay. And I need to tear that about there. Now I need to put it a little bit straight. Put that over there. See this um, print, just this two minutes that I went away, it's starting to dry. And I know I used some of this on the other one and you don't necessarily want to put the same thing in a journal. But I've got, as I said, I, pro I would use it. I've got many journals that I have to make. So um, I will, um, you know, I would I would put it in it, keep it for a different one. That's what I'm trying to say. And then I want, I'm just thinking, I want something um, that will go with this. I wouldn't even mind. Okay. A piece of this. So 
I'm going to tear this down here. I'm probably off screen a bit. And I'm going to tear it. I don't need too much of it, so I don't want to lose her. Then I thought, I, well, not that one. I might like one of these, I thought. Just find the scissors. I'm actually going to kind of fussy cut it, kind of, not perfectly. So I'll link, um, I'll link um, the two shops below so you can go and check out what they've got. like it there yes I like it more there so I'm going to stick that down there and then um, I feel like I need maybe need something up there do I do I do I do I do I um, oh, little piece of that. There we go. I'll put that there. And there's a pocket. Cute. Simple but cute. Okay. Oh, that's a big one. So we do something different. Maybe I'll do some tags. I haven't done any tags for a while. Um, I'll fold that. I might fold that one over that way. So you, you build them up faster than you than you use them up. So this one, um, I won't do this one today. I need to do this one. So that can be the reverse side. And so I need to put something on this side. I want to stay sort of in the tone so I think I'll put something like that that will be a nice tag too Oh, I know what I wanted to say. So, um, so yeah, I haven't answered any comments yet about the um, Steph's Pizza. But, um, so one um, lady said that she doesn't have dairy. Well, I f we didn't think to mention that um, you can make um, pizza without mozzarella. I mean, lots of Italian restaurants, well, all Italian restaurants serve, um, have many pizzas without mozzarella. Um, they have a marinara, marinara, which is the tomato, capers, tomatoes, capers, and oregano. Oh, we didn't put any oregano on the pizza because Lulu and I don't like it. That's all. I, I find it um, the dried oregano. I only use fresh oregano because the dried oregano kind of, I don't know, I don't digest it very well. 
Um, so yeah, that's why we didn't put any oregano on, but Steph likes oregano. He normally has it on his pizza when we go out to a restaurant. Um, but anyway, yep. Yeah. So you can have like a marinara, marinara, which has no cheese. It's tomato sauce and capers. Um, can't think what else. I think that's about it. Oh, sometimes some restaurants might put anchovies, but you don't have to put those in. And the other thing you can do with the pizza dough is you can make, um, or focaccia. It doesn't, it's not like a really thick focaccia, um, but they call it focaccia, schiacciata, or fornarina. And you can just even put it with olive oil, um, some salt, and some rosemary, and just cook it in the oven like that. Um, and then you can do toppings, like once you pull it out, you could put prosciutto crudo, or um, you could even just put veggies on top of that and cook it without cheese. There's there's a lot of options to, to cooking it um, without any cheese on it if you're dairy-free. That's all I wanted to say. It was very long-winded, wasn't it? Okay, so... Um, I want to decorate this one, but I don't know with what. What do I want to do? Mm -hmm. This is the million dollar question these days. So let's go back here and see. I really like these purple flowers, but I don't know if they go. So that's Cherry the Craft. And then I've got, I've got beautiful... Um, Kathy's here. Something like that. Well, that could be nice. It might be too bright because that's really um, pale. So, in that case, I'll go with something different. Put those over there. Just let me see in these other tricky new things that Steffi's done. Oh, yes, they'd be nice, but I'm not going to use those right now. We're going to go over here. Oh, you have got a mess. around here so I won't be publishing this video until tomorrow so I oh, I like that it's because I so I'm a day ahead um, you know just in case there's something unexpected happens and I can't do a video for some reason so we'll just bring this over here so it's managed to stay kind of tidy my little I've got two boxes here um, with laces and things to use. Um, and they ma have managed to stay kind of tidy, the two of them. So that's more of that one. I'll put those near each other. I just wanted to see, um, find one. I think I want something to stand out a bit more than that. That's very, very pretty, isn't it? Oh, no, I like it more down here, but I don't want to cover that one up. It's too pretty. Uh, so I want something that's a bit more common. So these types are, you can find these types, not common. This is particularly nice one. Um, but you can find these types around quite a lot. So I'm going to cut a piece off there. And see if I might like to put that one on there. That's the right way. I think I might like it to be more up there. No, not working. No, that's not it. And then I've got my little bag of stuff. So, you know, you just give up with that one. Oh, here we go. Here's a piece. That's a, It's the same one, but maybe this different piece will be better. No. What else is in here? Not that one. 
probably not that one. Maybe something like cheesecloth. I told you today was a struggle. I love this messy piece here. Maybe there. See, I already like that more. And it might need... No. Oh! I wanted to show you what I did. Where is it? Hmm. I'll find it in a minute. I have, while I'm sitting here looking for what I would like to put on there, um, if I can remember, I'll put a bit of this. This always works. Okay, let's try something like that. Um, I think I might use my Jodo glue because I'm not sure how the Pritt glue will go with the fabric. I do have Jodo glue left, but I'm just hoarding it now because it's become a precious commodity. Can you imagine hoarding glue? When have we ever hoarded glue? Well, we have to hoard it now. Yeah, I'm just adding a bit of texture, a bit of a mess there, really. But I'll stitch it. It'll all come together. It'll sort itself out. So we've got a bit of texture there. And then... I'm wondering, do I need anything else up here? I probably put some nice, and uh, not this paper, but some nice paper up there that'll make it nice. No, um, just thinking for a second. Nice on that side. What was I going to look for? Where's it gone? I'm looking for, I pulled it out before, my folder with labels. And I can't see where I've put it. Hmm. It's been swallowed up in the black hole. That's where it's gone. Silly folder. Why do you disappear? Where'd you go? I need you. Okay, well, I'll pull out this one. You know, there's many, sp labels are in many spots many spots they are can't get away from the labels we'll just use a tracy label i don't know what type no i don't want it as that type i need a more old worldly label than that it's not old worldly enough so no no tracy label okay well i'll just leave it I'll leave it and then if I find them, I will put one on. So we'll put that aside. Now, I wanted to show you what I did. There it is. Found it. So this one. So I finished that and I just, I really like that. I just tied it there. It's all hand stitched and it'll be all nice and fray. But I can't. Oh, I really wish I'm going to show you this, but I can't remember. Who did I watch? Seaville. Hey, Seaville. That's who I watched. Um, where did I put it? I um, Oh, here we go. So she did the Nick the Booksmith um, Desert um, Challenge, uh, Desert Island Challenge, and she did uh, little embroideries on the paper, and I thought it was so cute with pen. So I did a little, and I, I was sitting watching her video, and I literally just sat and did that while I was finishing off this one. So um, I still had all them, and then I put one of the stickers over that you'll see the video for that today. That that got cut off. So um, yeah, Lulu and I didn't realize it had cut off. Um, I think my phone was full. So yeah, so that's a really fun little thing to do. So I just wanted to show you that. I just put that in the pocket there, and you hadn't seen that when I showed you this um, journal. I absolutely love so um 
anyway yeah i'm not i haven't been putting anything in my shop obviously because um we're not allowed to like we're not allowed to um businesses are not allowed uh, non-essential businesses are not meant to be operating so i can operate on a digital level but i can't operate with physical items because in reality i i'm not supposed to be you know going to the post office for work if you don't or the courier i'd get into trouble so um yeah so that i'm not operating so um we'll just we'll just i'll just have to um when things calm down a bit i'll be able to list things in my shop and there'll be well you know for for once in my life i might have a little bit of stuff in my shop don't know i shouldn't speak too soon so um yep yeah, so this is a tag i think i wanted to make a i wanted to make but i need a bigger piece so i want it to be uh, like i want to make this into a longer tag so why don't i just glue it to this piece of paper to give it a bit of strength first let's rip off the white i'd like to make a big tag here and for and i am totally this inspiration for this comes totally from carol carol laws um you know um she's been using my kits and she makes these lovely big tags out of the pages and i just love that idea so um i just want to make it this into a big tag and the journal i'm working on is quite um a large book so like as in height and width and so um it can take large tags like this so i'm going to glue that on there good way to um get rid of and i'm gluing it onto the book page first because it's um it's um i've just this is just um copy paper regular copy paper so it needs to have some more strength to it and i thought that was a fabulous idea carol how you do that i, lo I love that idea and it's very, it's like, it's a simple idea, but it's a great idea to wait. It's a great way to use up these book pages and use up these scraps. If you've been collaging with a digi or anything, really, um, it's a good way to use up the paper. So I'm actually going to tear this because I, I want to try and keep my torn look. And I'm literally just chucking it on the floor because um, the garbage bin is overflowing. I need to empty it out. Okay, excuse me, lid out of my way. I've got two glues on the, actually I should close that one. That one dries, dries too quickly. You just behave yourself. Okay, so I put that there and then I need to put a nice piece of something on the back for writing. Um, now this is very nice color, this paper here, but it's shiny. So I'm not going to use that. I don't like shiny. I'm going to use a bit of this and I'm going to actually collage it. So I'll put that there. I'll just tear this down. Hopefully I can tear it like this. Not the best. Okay, didn't do too badly. And I'm going to glue that on there and I'll put something up there. Actually, I'll put something down the bottom. Which way is up? That way is up. So I'm literally going to have a couple of days of making ephemera. I wanted to put it down the bottom, I said, because I changed my mind. Now let me see here. And this paper, even though it's shiny, it's actually quite a nice colour. So I don't mind if I can see a little bit of it. I'm trying to find my card because I'm not being good today and putting stuff back in the, the box because I've covered the box with some of my mess. So that's going there and then I need to put something there this would be perfect can I just very slightly tear it along there so to get that nice little tear like that if you put your two thumbs near each other and tear then you can control it better not always it doesn't always work but in in theory that's the theory that off and there we go we see i think i've used that whole piece of 
um, wallpaper. I don't have any scraps left there anymore. I've used it all, which is good. Okay, gosh, I can't believe the 100-day project's going to be starting soon on the 4th of April. Mm -mm, I better get into gear, hadn't I? I've been writing everybody's, I've written everybody's suggestions down. And, um, no, I think I'm going to leave it like that, put something nice. Like, a, well, no, I might not even put a tab on it. I like that. So that's a nice big gelling card. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, the 100-day project starts soon. I better get organised. Not organised yet. Oh, the bells are chiming. So I think, no, I think I'm going to go on with a pocket. I'll do one of these. See, these open, and I stitched a little bit of fabric on there. You've seen these before. Um, one side I like to do for journaling. The underside and then the other side will be decorated and it will stitch on the edge of the page and flip out so I'm just looking for I need some of this paper oh, there's a good piece it's going to be pretty good and we can just collage something there so tear that off Okay, well, you're not going anywhere, are you? It's a shame it's so shiny, because look how nice and, and grungy it is, without being too grungy. So I'm going to put that there. Let's turn my fingers off. And just get this, smooth it out. So just make sure it's glued properly um, because I'm probably not going to stitch around it again. It's already been stitched and I need to just grab a little piece of scrap somewhere here. I forgot about these scraps. That's why I've been struggling. I forgot about my scraps. I'm going to stick that one right there. See, if you forget about your scraps, you struggle. That's what happens. Because we need scraps for this. Put that there. So now I need to remember which way is my up. My up's that way. And I need to put something on here. And I'm going to go to... Where are they? These scraps. I've got lots of scraps in here. I forgot about them. already decorated oh that one's good oh it's a perfect size too that's one of Lulu's okay let's just tear that bottom off and stick it down see what we've got in here that can go across the top there that oh was meant to be
I think I might need to. Oh my goodness, it's already six o'clock. I need to go and prepare dinner. I know Steffi's home, but he's working. It's like he's not here, he's working. So we'll finish this one off and then I'm going to have to go off and, and do din din. So, what's that? Oh, that's a piece of that. No. That one just keeps hanging around and I just don't, I keep not finding a home for it. No. Mm. I don't like that. I'm going to put that right there. Oh, isn't that pretty? I like it with the little bit of turquoise and the brown pe peeking out. Yep, that's going to be perfect. So this piece is very sticky now. Oh my goodness, I'm going to end up with so much. Oh, I haven't glued it yet. That's why it's not sticking. Oh my goodness, Rachel. Right, so anyway, I just thought I'd check in with you guys, see how you're all going, letting you know that it's everything's okay. Hope you're all okay. And um, we are just getting things done slowly, very slowly, getting them done. There we go. So that's that one. So I'll just show you quickly what I did in this video. I showed you my organization. Um, I think this organization is going to work better for me. I just have to find a spot to put them all. And so we've just done... Um, this one is like a pocket, so that will attach to the side of a page and flip out like that. And you can write that, oh, should we stick something there? I don't know, should we stick something there? It could be cute. Isn't that cute? Let me see. Oh, yes, why not? Sorry, you know me, I get distracted. I don't concentrate on the job at hand, which was showing you. What I'd done, I instead go off on a tangent and do something else. Just go down like that. There we go. Cute. Why not? Okay, so I'll show you that one again. That one's going to flip out like that, and then you'll see the cute little snail and the strawberries. And then this is a big tag inspired by Carol Laws that does these amazing big tags I just love the feel of them and then I, I, I didn't do too much um, I did this one I haven't used Kathy's um, things but I will use them so there's that pocket this one this one may need a little bit of something but I it wasn't coming to me so I'm not going to waste your time trying to figure that out and then this one and I think I liked this sticker here because of these colors and these colors I felt like they all work together and then and then this one I absolutely love this one simple but I just like it I like the colors so that is it so I hope you're having a good day and I will see you again soon bye